run the playbook that is designed, right? One of the things that I struggle with is how much flexibility do you have, right? Like in a franchisee, like like if I wanted to open up um, uh, Bob's Bur- Burgers, right? Bob's Burgers by you know on 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 the south side of Chicago, right? And Bob is known for the ultimate Bob Burger. But, you know, I want to add, you know, um, a smoothie in there that Bob Burgers doesn't <laughs> offer. Am I OK to do that? Like, or is it a strict play by play? This is the manuscript you have to run as set follows. Great question, Cody. That goes back to uh, what you said a little bit earlier about an established brand. Uh, like Ann's Pretzels. Obviously, with Ann's Pretzels, it's an established brand. They've been doing it for a long time. They might not be as welcome to, you know, trying something new and different uh, right away on that. Whether now, if you go with an emerging brand that doesn't have a lot of franchises, they may be a little bit more open to it on that. But as far as creativity with each franchise goes, you still have a lot of creativity. There's still those franchises when they come up with new menu items, especially when you're talking about, you know, the, the, uh, the food industry, those menu items, most of the time, they come from existing franchisees who decide to try something different. And they just get with the franchise or and say, you know, this is what I want to try. And most franchises are open to you being a bit creative. Uh, probably not a good idea to be, to be a bit creative at first because you really want to get to know the brand. But if you find that your clients that are coming into your establishment want something other than what you're necessarily providing at that time, franchisers are very open uh, to being creative and trying new things. Uh, big risk because they haven't done it before. You're buying into a proven business model, as you said, a proven playbook on that. They know what works. They've reproduced it a few times. It does work that way. So if you want to try something new and different, you can, but it will just be a little bit more risky. And I've had people do that. Uh, definitely not something you want to do at the beginning. You want to get to know the brand. You want to get to know your clients that are coming in uh, uh, to your establishment, whether that be the services industry where you're providing tutoring services, senior care, or, you know, lawn care, whatever it is, or, you know, if you're getting into the brick and mortars, you want to get to know that brand quite a bit before you, you start being a little bit uh, too creative because you bought into it because they've got that playbook. They know it works. They've done it before. Uh, so follow that to begin with. And then once you establish yourself a little bit, get to know them then you can start being creative. Franchisers are open to that. I like that. I like that. Get to know the brand first examine the relationship, examine the customers, how they interact and engage, and then see, is there room for possible expansion? Makes a lot of sense. Look, we're going to hit how much capital does it take because I'm sure nothing in life is free. Uh, and I think that's the, the biggest roadblock to everything. And I want to know, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm like, you can start with, you know, $10. I'm like, where are you can start with $10? Sign me up. Uh, 